good morning guys i hope you are doing well and today we are going to be do the impossible task and the task is how you can get the root access by using the vim vim editor yes of course vi editor or the vim editor you know already these are the two editor is very popular in linux okay but uh, there is uh, some uh, this is really very dangerous to for the privilege escalation uh, similar the other commands also the uh, danger for the privilege escalation like less and awk cut cat yeah these commands can be uh, escalate the privilege okay so let's start here uh, what happened like uh, one of my colleague like demo user uh, I want to assign some roles to him so that he can use the or he can access the any file uh, like uh, here uh, the this user is demo user you can see and this user can I have done some if you will check the pseudo permission for this user So you can see here the pseudo permission is already assigned to this user like uh, uh, it can use the VIM editor as a root user to edit this file only. If you want to use this uh, first if you want to check the sudo and cat command slash etc and shadow so this is not allowed. If I want to switch as a root user so this is not allowed and if i am going to use any command any thing like sudo system ctl and uh, start sshd so not allowed nothing he can do nothing not a single command he can execute as a root user but he can even if i am using the vim editor in a same case vim editor to open the etc and shadow so not allowed only the allowed is access the configuration file of the ssh so i am going to configure the or execute or access the ssh why because on here on the screen you can see there is a pseudo permission using the vim editor and access the sshd configuration file only so i am going to use the vim editor along with the sudo command and uh, the file is a etc ssh sshd and config file so this file actually configuration for the SSH. So the administrator or the root user assign this role to the demo user. So demo user can make the changes inside this configuration file and uh, help to the root or the administrator to complete their task to configure for the configuration of the SSH. So sudo has x uh, now he can access this and he can add it everything whatever is written here. So if you think if I am adding any user and then go another and access the SSH no no I will show you here to get the access of the root user shell on this server from VIM. So let's check here. I am going to in a command line mode and right here, write the cell and you can see here I am a root user. So yes, of course, I am a root user and I can now access the etc and the shadow file. So here you can see the etc shadow file. I am open this file and any task I can perform here because now I am a root user ID and who am i is a root user okay so i hope you like my video actually this video is related to the linux security how to enhance the linux security we have the special course uh, how to enhance the linux security on the 
on my app you can download the same app from the description and you know guys uh, i am also arranging or launching the boot camp so you can join our boot camp for the two days three days four days and five days depend on the content this content related to the cyber security linux security windows security and network security and also you will get the lots of the free resources available on my app so download now from the description box okay thanks for watching see you in a next video if you have any question so you can ask this question another i have told you there is a some other commands like less commands more commands cut commands awk awk and other commands is very critical and you will have to handle those commands when you are assigning you will have to handle those commands very carefully when you are assigning the role for the any normal user as a demo user okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video